Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. My name is Veda and this is The Simple Budget. Here on my channel I show you how my family is using the zero-based budgeting method in order to get out of debt and simplify our financial life. If that sounds like content that you're interested in, I would love it if you would hit the subscribe button and join our little crew here. And with that being said, let's get into today's video. So you can tell by the cash displayed here and the title that we are doing a cash stuffing today. Um, I'm also going to go over a few details with you guys about my Etsy shop and my plans for launch and after launch and things like that kind of as we go through here. So first up, let's give this account. We're going to be stuffing $976 today. So... Math with Veda, are we ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, 55, 56, 50, 670, 90, 710, 730, 750, 770, 780, 90, 800. Wow, guys. Okay, ready? 8, 10, 20, 30. 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 900, 905, 10, nope, 5, oh yeah, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 60, so 960, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70, one, two, three, four, five, six. We did it all in one count. All right. So while, while I trade this up, I am just going to go over a couple things about my Etsy shop. Um, upon launch, official launch, if you've, if you missed my last video, I did say that, um, I am currently listing items on there. It's not going to be perfectly refined and tweaked until April 1st, though. That's like my official launch day. So we're calling what is happening right now a soft launch. But on April 1st is the official launch. Everything is currently digital. And on April 1st, it will also be digital. However, I do have plans to offer printed products. I am going to be selling envelopes and I will be offering my dashboards printed and so on and so forth. I'm still not 100% sure about the other items in my shop, what I will be printing, but I do know right away, like right off the bat, I will be printing or offering, eventually offering printed dashboards, printed and envelopes, obviously, because those aren't even available digitally right now. Um, but I will be selling envelopes and I will be printing, offering physical um, dashboards as well. So I just wanted to kind of go over that with you guys. I hope it's not confusing. Um, but that's the plan for now. So everything is digital right now. And eventually there will be physical products as well. I'm not really sure about the trackers and all that kind of stuff. We'll see, like the products that would make up a budget planner. I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna handle that yet, but what I said before, I will be printing envelopes and I will be printing dashboards eventually. Upon launch on April 1st, everything will be digital. So let's go ahead and um, unstuff my wallet. Um, I do have some receipts here to scan into my fetch, reward, fetch rewards and receipt hog. So I've been using receipt hog for a few weeks now. It's definitely not as good as fetch, although fetch way knocked down their referral. It used to be $2,000 or $2,000. My gosh, I wish. It used to be 2,000 points um, anytime a new referral scanned in a receipt. So the new referral would get 2,000 points and I would get 2,000 points. They knocked it down to 100 um, recently, but I mean, Fetch is still, like you get 25 points for every receipt you scan in. And they also do this thing where if you scan a receipt um, every 24 hours, they offer the availability to like spin for extra points. So I still think it's worth it, but I actually really like Receipt Hog too. You don't get as many points like it doesn't add up as quickly um 
and actually over there it's coins, but it's still a fantastic way of getting, you know, money back for receipts that you're scanning in. So it's, it takes almost no time. And even though the payoff isn't as good as fetch, it doesn't matter. Like you're eventually going to, all that stuff's going to add up and then you can change it in for whatever you want. So, um, and like with always, I always have all of this information linked below, like my referral codes, if you've never heard of them before and you want to sign up. Another one that I really, really advocate for is Upside. That is a cashback app for gasoline. And it, to me, it's my, it's my favorite. I actually like it more than Fetch. I like it more than Receipt Hog um, because gas purchases getting cash back on that is just absolutely fantastic. So do check that one out if you've never heard of it before. That one I feel like accumulates faster than any of the other cash back or rewards apps that I use. So check the, check all of them out. I do have them listed below because um, I am all about trying to get a little kickback here and there for money that you're going to spend anyway. You may as well earn some points back for what you're spending. Anyway, that was a very long rambly explanation for my um, receipts. Um, I do have a grocery rollover. And if you saw my, um, my weekly check-in, you will know that I had a bunch of ones left over in groceries and I stole them for my $1 savings challenge. So I'm going to put the grocery rollover there and I'll just add it back in to my grocery envelope when I get there, because I do not, I save my rollover because groceries are expensive. And then I had a bunch of ones left over this week or that I stole for my $1 savings challenge. A lot of it came from grocery. But then also, um, if you don't know really quickly, I do save every dollar bill that I get as change back from a cash transaction. And I squirrel those away. Shout out to my friend Ariel, who will probably be giggling right now over the squirreling away comment. Um, um, I squirrel these away and save them and eventually we will decide, my husband and I will decide what we're going to use those ones toward. So this was quite a lucrative week for $1 bills. I was very excited about it. Um, I'll just plop those there. And then last but not least, let me grab the change jar. I did have some change from my purchases this week. And there's still the nickel hanging out in there. All right, we cleared her out. Wonderful. It's a slow build, but it's a build. All right, now, first up, we're just gonna dip right in to high priority sinking funds. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab my rollover here. And then it is getting 325 as per usual. So two 100s, two 50s, a 20, and then a five. So now in groceries, I will have one, two, 50, three, 20, 40, 60, five, 75, 85. So 385 in groceries. Next up, the bane of my existence, taxes is getting $120. Oh, there's my placeholders. Um, so we've got 120 and taxes now has one, two, three, 400, four, 20, 40, 60, 80, 500, 25. So 525 plus the 1500 that's in the bank is $2,025. And taxes, this is all going to be sorted out here soon because this is from taxes from last year and a little bit from this year. The 1500 is for last year. The rest of it is for this year. So um, this is going to get like emptied and sorted soon because we've had our taxes done. So next up is medical and medical is getting $10 this week. 
And medical now has 1, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 85, 95, 96. So 196 in medical. And I'm gonna do an in-frame check because paranoia, because I have a history. Car expenses is getting 10. And it now has 50, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, and 120. And car expenses. Next up is home maintenance, and home maintenance is also getting 10. Um, here we go. Home maintenance now has 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 95, 100, 105, 10, 15, 25. So 125 in home maintenance. And I'm actually going to be filming and condensing so look forward to that one because these envelopes really need it. Next up is household and household is getting 15 this week. So a 10 and a five and household now has 10, 20, 35, 45, 50, one and two. So 52. Household's one of those that I probably won't condense much if at all, just because I do a lot of these purchase purchases using my debit card and I like to have small bills to make change, just make paying the bank back easier. It's so much easier if you already have small bills in here. So no, that's like a little tip. If you are new to cash stuffing, make sure that you stuff your revolving purchases, things that you buy all the time, household goods, toiletries, groceries, things like that. Stuff them with smaller bills so that when you go to pay yourself back to the bank, if you make a purchase with your debit card and you have to pay yourself back to the bank, obviously, um, it'll be easier for you to make change because you'll have all the little denominations that you need in order to do that. So that was something that I learned right away. And I think I said it in... I think I did a what I've learned so far video. So I'll go ahead and link that just so you can see it um, if you are new. Um, but then that was like the primary thing that I pulled away from my first couple of weeks of cash stuffing was you need ones and fives to make change to pay yourself back to the bank. So I'm sharing that wisdom with you. Um, toiletries is next up and toiletries is also getting 10. So now in toiletries, we have 20, 30, 40, 55, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So 67 in toiletries. Clothes is next up, and it's getting 35. So I just did a 20, a 10, and then a 5. And clothes now has 20, 30, 45, 55, 56, 57, and 58. We are building this one back up because we made a clothing purchase like last week, I think, or the week before. So um, finance coach is being skipped. It This only gets funded once a month. So it's already been funded for the month of March, and that is it. Um, HOA is also not being funded and emergency fund is fully funded for the time being at 1000. So that's it for high priority sinking funds. Next up, not holiday is low priority sinking funds. And first up, what in the world? So this is how you know that my husband has been in a, in an envelope and not me. The cash tracker is in the front and not the cash. <laughs> He's off to the side so I can talk to him, talk about him because he's, he can hear me. Also, he watches my videos so he would know anyway. Um, dine Out. Oh, Dine Out is actually being skipped this week. Well, there you go. It has 15 in it right now. You're furrowing your brow. Should it not be getting skipped? Oh. It, do, do what you feel. Oh, okay. Okay, work meals is up next and it is getting five dollars. And it now has five, ten, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So twenty dollars in work meals. 
Haircuts is up next and it's getting five. And it now has 20, 35, 40, oops, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. So 50 in haircuts. Home is being skipped this week. And I think, what do we have in here? 10, 25, 31, and two. So 32 in home. I need to tell you guys a funny story. So a few weeks ago, I was in Target and I was walking past their like dollar section and they had the cutest little like, I don't know, like display plate or just like, you know, for like little treats or whatever. And it was Easter themed. It had a carrot on it. It was so cute. It was right up my alley. And I put it in my cart right away. And because I am a recovering spender and an absolute impulse buyer, I made myself walk around the store for like 30 minutes, even though I didn't, like I had what I needed at Target was like quick. I was just running in and running out. And I made myself walk around the store to like really think about whether or not I needed this plate, if I would get any use out of it, or if it would just sit in my cabinet, like a lot of things do. And I actually put it back. I didn't buy it because it was going to come from this envelope. Um, and I was actually kind of proud of myself for that because that is so just antithetical to my typical behavior. So anyway, little progress here and there, but that's like a little tip. If you're a spender and if you're an impulse buyer, don't allow yourself that wiggle room. Like make sure you walk around and think about the purchase. Think about whether or not you really need it because that was like a way that I would have lost I don't know, it was like five bucks or something. But that stuff adds up, especially in the dollar spot, because that thing is a wicked temptress. So yeah, little tip for you. Walk around and think about your purchase before you buy it. From one spender to another, I'm not sitting like here, like from a holier than thou position. I'm sitting here as a person who has tons of credit card debt because she loves an impulse purchase, so. Anyway, next up is dates. Oh, wow. Yeah, dates is getting a lot this week. I gave it 64, and I'm trying to remember if I pulled a 50. I think I did, yes. So 50, 60, 1, 2, three, four. I know this seems like an odd number. It is. It's because I worked like extra hours or I got a little bit of extra pay than we were planning on. And it's not enough to like throw at our debt. I mean, anything that you can throw at your debt is, is a good thing, but we are also trying to beef up our dates envelope because we may or may not be very, very close to paying off our first credit card. And so as a treat to ourselves, we will be going on a date once we do that. So we want to make sure that we have this funded in order to, you know, make that happen. So dates now has 50, 70, 80, 90, 100, 105, 10, 15, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. So we have $131 in dates. And let me tell you something, when we pay off that credit card and we go on that date, we are going to feast like, I mean, not kings, but you know, really wealthy paupers. <laughs> All right, next up is his, this is my husband's spending money, which he doesn't spend. Um, and he's getting $5 this week. Yeah. <laughs> he now has 50, 100, 20, 30, 40, 55, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69. So 169. Is that like nice or is that not quite nice? nice? <laughs> All right. So that's his. Hers is getting $8 this week. This is my spending money. And I 
I now have 100, 200, 20, 40, 5, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60. So $260. All right, Pretty Hair, which is the funding from my haircut, is also getting $8. All right, and it now has 55, 65, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, and 90. And that is enough to cover my haircut, which is this week? Maybe this week. We'll see. Okay. Next up is Lash Lift, and Lash Lift gets the biggest of my three funding envelopes, and it gets 14. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So Lash Lift now has, I just got it done, so that's why it's so low. It's got 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So 20 in my Lash Lift. Okay, Family Fun is up next, and oh, it's actually not being funded. So let's go ahead and give her a count. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten dollars in Family Fun. Miscellaneous is getting five, and it now has five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Nine dollars in miscellaneous. So there we go. Okay, YouTube is fully funded for the time being. Um, if you saw my video on Friday, I announced the winner, so go check that out. And House Project is being skipped this week. And that does it for low priority. Last up, are our holiday sinking funds and gifts is first up and it is getting ten dollars so it has 10 20 30 40 55 65 66 67 68 in gifts and I've mentioned I have another cousin getting married in May so I want to make sure that this gets beefed up before then parte is up next and it is getting ten and it now has 100, 10, 25, 35, 40, 1, 2, and 3. So 143 in parte. Um, Valentine's Day, I think, is, yeah, it's being skipped, but we'll give it a count because it's fun. And it has 5, 10, 15, 16, and 17. It's never ever too late to save for your holidays. Build the funds up so that the money is there for you when you need it. Easter is up next and, oh, it's actually being, oh, that's right. It's being skipped because it was already fully funded. I spent for, I spent from it for Easter and um, we're not gonna start stuffing it again until Easter rolls around and it has 21 in there. Vacation is being stuffed $187. So $150, So Vacation now has... 100, 200, 300, 400, 50, 500, 50, 70, 90, 610, 630, 650, 660, 670, 5, 
Wow, $704 in vacation. That is good stuff. We definitely need a condensing. Well, and also this has to, we've got to um, book our Airbnb. So this is going to be pulled with the um, bill condensing that I'm going to do. And we'll be able to book our Airbnb and take care of all that. So back to school is up next and it's getting $10. Oops. And it has 20, 30, 45, 55. So 55 in back to school. Oops. Okay, Halloween is not being funded this week, but we will give her a count. It has 50, 70, 90, 100, 10, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So 135 in Halloween is actually almost to its funding point. Thanksgiving is up next. It's getting 15. 10, and oh, wait, I think, yeah, there's still another five there. So Thanksgiving now has 20, 30, 40, 55, 65, 75. 75 in Thanksgiving. What is your favorite Thanksgiving pie? Okay, wait, no, we're going to do this. What is your favorite Thanksgiving side dish? And what is your favorite Thanksgiving pie? And tell me, do you stick with the traditional turkey? What do you do to your turkey? Or do you have something else like ham or something else? Like, are you guys like, no, we're not doing any of those things. This is what we do. Tell me down below. I'm curious. I like to know how people celebrate Thanksgiving and what they do. My favorite is actually a cinnamon pie. And I had never heard of it before. I found it on Pinterest one year and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to make that. And it's kind of like, um, so it's like a traditional pie crust. And then the center, like the actual filling is, it's like a cross between a cheesecake and pumpkin pie. So it's a little bit custardy, but it's a little denser than that. Kind of like a cheesecake filling would be. So Maybe I'll leave the recipe down below if you guys are interested. It is my absolute favorite. And it's a pie that actually tastes better the longer it sits in the fridge. It kind of like marinates or something. Anyway, so that's my favorite pie. And my favorite side dish for Thanksgiving is stuffing. Not dressing, stuffing. The stuff that comes from inside the bird. Best, best, best. Anyway, moving on to Christmas. Christmas is getting 95 dollars this week and that is the rest of what we have here i don't think we have any ones no all right and christmas has 100 200 300 400 500 50 600 20 40 60 80 95 700 and five, wow, 705 in Christmas. Yeah, we're definitely due for a, a bill condensing here because um, my threshold is $500 to go to the bank. So there we go. Plus, I just don't feel comfortable having all this money in my house. Plus, plus, I have a high, high yield savings account and it could be earning interest right now instead of sitting in here. So we're gonna do that. Zoo obviously is not being funded. There are zero dollars left. <laughs> and I think we're still, I think we're just at 16 in here because we've only, yeah, we're just at 16. So last up is the $1 savings challenge. And we don't count what it is, but I do count what I add to it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten dollars going in the into the one dollar savings challenge this week. And that is good stuff. Look at that thick stack of ones. Very, very nice. It's still not too thick to stuff though. So, I mean, we're getting there, but I don't know. Maybe a little bit more. 
I just feel like it could it could stand to gain a few pounds. <laughs> anyway, that is it for this week's cash stuffing. I cannot thank you guys enough for always tuning in to hang out with me, always being so supportive and lovely in the comments. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you did. Please give this video a thumbs up and then I will see you guys in the next one. Bye everyone. Thank you.